Hey guys, welcome back. Quick slurp. Tonight I'm going to do my version of a moule marinière. So basically, uh, mussels with cream. All right. Over here, I've marinated. Marinated. What the hell am I talking about? This? I have um, caramelized some onions with a bit of garlic and some celery. Oh yeah, and I added a bit of um, tamarack just to get a bit of color. Right now, I'm just gonna put some beautiful thyme. Oh, good now. A bit of thyme. Gosh. In there, fried it with olive oil and butter. All that up. Yeah, so basically, like, um, we just went to the supermarket and found um, mussels cheap today, so I thought, yeah, why not? Um, two pounds, one pound 99 for like a kilo. These are um, Scottish mushrooms. Mushrooms? Okay, these are. <laughs> <laughs> these are Scottish mussels. We'll get there in the end. Bloody hell. You must think I've been smoking something or something. All right, okay, here's the mussels. Right, just pour them straight in there, okay. Camera man. Ah, oh, it's gonna be good. Stay there. Oh, so good. I mean, there's not a lot of it to eat, but basically what we're gonna do, um, the French and the Belgian like to, um, believe it or not, um, get French fries, put French fries on the bottom of the dish and then um, put the mussels with the cream sauce on top. It works really well, believe it or not. Right, so just turn that all around on a very high heat. Oh, yeah. Then what's going to happen is obviously you've got the water inside uh, from the sea, the sea water. So that's going to be nice gonna be beautiful and then basically what I'm gonna do is over here like this I'm just gonna I'm gonna put some chives in there oh, okay. some chives we'll put that at the end oh, it's gonna be good chives okay that for the end and then this we'll put them in now Yeah, and I put salt, pepper in the onions and sugar uh, whilst I caram caramelised them before. Okay, over here. Bosh, stay there. Right, that's looking good. Do you know that? Okay, look at that. about. Now, in goes some vino blanco or vin blanc or white wine. Oh, yeah, I only got a cheap one, I'm not a big fan of a white wine, but it's nice for sauces. So, half of that in there, muck it right up. Oh, might a bit more salt, very good, and then over here. I just had some boiled potatoes left over, so like I said with the French fries, I'm just gonna put that on the bottom of the dish, put the mussels on top, cream sauce, and then when you get to the bottom, you get like these beautiful soaked potatoes with all the sauce and everything like that. Right, I'm just gonna put this on top for a second. Yeah, I remember when I was uh, in New Zealand, and I got these beautiful green lit mussels and I was traveling around for a couple of weeks in a car like in a camper van and I stopped off at all these like camping sites so like you could find like the the green lit mussels everywhere and I used to buy like a couple of kilos go and cook them in the communal kitchen and then everyone was like oh my god it smells so good can you and can we get some and then I ended up ended up cooking for like the whole campsite like this went on for bloody months yeah every time I go down there they ask they chip in with the money and then uh, I just end up cooking like mussels like every day, man. And different sauces was amazing. All right, over here. So now it's boiling up. You want to make sure that they're all nice and open. But again, it's not finished. So that's all right. In goes some hot water. 
You don't just want the wine that'd be too acidic. Hot water. Yeah. Full whack. Leave it on. It's gonna be good. And then we just add the chives of cream. It's gonna be delicious, man. What are you look laughing at, uh, Jim? <laughs> Oh, so many accents, yeah. That's because uh, I've got so many personality disorders. <laughs> right, quick slurp. Ah, that's good. Right. Again, it's very quick. So they all open up nicely. Oh, goodness me. This is going to be amazing. And then later we're gonna have a bit of cheese as well. We'll treat ourselves, it's uh, the end of the month, or the beginning of the month, should I say. So we're gonna have a cheese dish, lots of different types of cheese, with some bread, um, pate, and what else, like tomatoes, cucumbers, and make up our, our own little midnight feast. That should be cool. All right, now. In goes the single cream. Now we've got to remember with this, you don't want it to curdle. So you want to turn it around real slow. And this is what basically makes the sauce, of course. So it goes like that. Now I'm turning off the heat. No more heat. And then in go, in goes the chives. Oh, it's going to be good, like that, and then we'll just turn it around slowly, another cough, so you don't want to mix it, you want to try and slowly fold it, slowly fold it, and that's why it's nice to add a bit of um, turmeric, gives the cream sauce a nice sort of yellowy colour. Good. All right, guys, and then you can imagine. So we're going to eat this later. I'm going to put this, all this, on top of the potatoes. I'll take all the mussels out, then I'll pour the sauce on top. Then we'll get some nice French bread, some baguette. We'll eat the mussels out, and then we'll just dip the bread in the sauce. But I'll just try mussel quickly to show you. Oh, they're quite nice, actually. It's going to get better later. Obviously, you want to let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes. That's what I do. There you have it. Beautiful, fritto di mare, beautiful seafood. We love it. All right, so big turn. Have a look in there, Nathan. Take a nice picture. Thank you, cameraman. We might even warm that up later. Put the lid on top. Bob's your uncle.